Hi, okay, so uh, I want to add this short little thing, just a little status piece of information. Today is January 9th, 2012, but as of January 8th, 2012, and I anticipate still, um, in Ubuntu 11.10 with Cheese 3.2.0, uh, Give a little background in case you didn't see my other video. Basically, I was having trouble with GVC Viewer 1.4.5 uh, in Ubuntu 11.10 in KDE 4, and um, I was I was uh, for one point I decided well maybe I'm just not going to use GVC Viewer anymore, and I started I tried to use Cheese, and I had some frustration with Cheese. And um, I don't know if I put a presentation up about this. Uh, the first part, I guess I could add it. Um, now, basically, you can get sound to work in cheese, and I didn't know this. I haven't known this for a couple years, and I'll get into that in a second. But the main point of this video that I'm doing right now was that <coughs> is that um, whatever format the cheese had saved the video in, which I think is. OGG Vorbis or something like that, or OGG, um, you could play it locally just fine. You know, I guess I could just Okay, so where am I? Um, I am using cheese now. <laughs> okay, so there you go. It works just fine, but once you upload into YouTube, or at least when I did, around this time, as early January 2012, um, it came out garbled just like it did with QVC Viewer, so you know, and I'm assuming that I had all the right codecs installed to do this. I could test it again. I I uh, went to the Ubuntu, it's just a type, the type's just odd video, but I went to the Ubuntu Software Center subsequent to making this and I installed, um, I think it's the H, H264 codex. I, I'm not very good at these co <coughs> codecs and things and I don't know whether my subsequent installation of that version of it, or if I even had it before, if that'll have any effect on an upload, if I make another video or not. But I'm just passing that on. Now, as far as getting sound in cheese, in case I haven't done this before, or I wasn't clear, <coughs> clear in my title, if you happen to use cheese and you want to use cheese and you want to get sound, but you're getting frustrated because it's not coming through on your, on your webcam that has the microphone in it, um, there was a a thread that people were talking about it for Ubuntu and this was back I think in version 1010 .10, and somebody mentioned they had gone into the um, system preferences and they made uh, the microphone device for the camera the, the default and basically what Cheese does is it assumes that the default microphone is the microphone you want to use so but it doesn't really make that clear in its interface, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't even have, like, under preferences, it doesn't even say note microphone is controlled underneath the control center. I happen to be using KDE, so I can't really go in there and, you know, and I got Unity on the other side. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not quite sure I'd be able to present it anyway, but I'm going to present what I do know, and that's with... Um, in KD4, there's a um, there there are settings just for KD4, and the name of it's called System Settings. So it's a little bit misleading in that way, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> but basically, for controlling the sound within the KDE environment, uh, you go to System, and then there's as far as I remember. Or is it settings? Yeah, settings and system settings. And what, they're, what they really mean by that are the KDE system settings. It would be much better labeled if it was KDE system settings, by the way. For everybody. <laughs> then, over here under multimedia, down here at phones, or is that phone on? <coughs> I don't know why this comes up, but I always say, I never say forget about a device. Ever. <laughs> so anyway, for recording it, you got two devices here, and the one on the top is the default. And right now, the default recording device for KDE 
system wide within the KDE environment is the, the, the microphone for, for this webcam. And underneath that is um, basically one of these, the microphone port there. Right, so if you you know if you change this and you go into Audacity and you want to record stuff and you wonder why everything's muted, uh, you know you have a tape recorder and you're, you're you know you have a cable from your stereo going into the microphone there and you're using that to record your old tapes or something like that, which is what I did for a number of my old tapes. Um, it comes out muted. That that's why because you know. Oh, phonon is the name of this uh, part of KDE. Phonon is saying that that is not the default device. Now I don't know if if the camera were unplugged, if it would become the default device because the other one isn't there. I don't know. If it is, that would be ideal, actually. You know, except if you kept the camera plugged in all the time, there could be a little bit of confusion there. But that's it. So so what you do is if I want to say if I wanted to make internal audio, I, I just click on prefer, and I apply, and this would move up to the top, you know, and that's how, when I first opened this, this 801 was down here, and I click prefer, move up to the top, and apply, then, then I had sound and cheese, it's not that way in the GVC viewer, the GVC viewer, of course, has audio control, so you can decide which one you want to use, and for the most part, it usually assumes that it's going to be your, the microphone and your camera. Okay, so that should be it for this. Uh, this one, and the next one, I'm going to make my third attempt at making a minor presentation on wine. And um, as best as I can, with the little I could add out of anything. I think overall, there's not really much I could add, but I'm still going to do it.